I think a lot of people are drawn to visual depictions of what schizophrenia or schizoaffective disorder are like for the person who's experiencing it through things like simulation videos or artistic representations of what it's like. But a lot of times these simulations and whatnot are made by people who aren't actually living with the illness. And so I anyway don't find them to be super accurate. Now we did just do an interview with an artist by the name of Christopher Grant. Check out that video if you haven't seen it yet, where he is an artist who draws and um, creates imagery and animations based on what schizophrenia feels like to him. And so that was really cool to kind of explore the visual representation of what it feels like. And so we wanted to take this a step further and utilize AI, artificial intelligence, specifically the Mid Journey app, to create images of what schizophrenia feels like based off of descriptions and prompts from people who really are living with the illness. So we asked a bunch of people who are living with schizophrenia or schizophrenia spectrum illness what it feels like for them. And from these descriptions created prompts for Midjourney, which is the AI image generator that we used. If you're not familiar with Midjourney, it's really, really cool. You basically type in some sort of prompt and it creates an incredible image based off this prompt. Okay, so diving right in, I'm gonna start off with the prompt that I specifically created for Midjourney to create images for. And so what I wrote as a prompt for Midjourney was, what it feels like to hallucinate mundane chatter, bad smells, and perception distortions, to feel paranoid of being watched or followed, to be experiencing delusional thinking and racing scattered thoughts. And these are some of the images that it created. So, you know, honestly, looking at some of these, my mind was kind of blown at just the abstract depiction that I think actually really does justice to how navigating the illness of schizoaffective disorder feels and what psychosis feels like. I think that it did a really, really wonderful and kind of stunning job based off of my description of encapsulating what it feels like. So, you know, I think something also to mention for all of the images that I'm going to be showing you in this video is that these are not literally what the person is experiencing and seeing and you know, taking in in their world or their altered reality. These are artistic representations about what the experience of living with schizophrenia or having a psychotic episode feels like for the person. And so that's kind of, you know, what I feel when I look at these is I feel like it's a representation of how it feels to be navigating a psychotic episode. I really like this one in particular where it seems like this woman's thoughts are kind of spewed all around her and you're not really sure what exactly anything really is and it just feels like a really good depiction of what distorted reality can feel like and scattered thoughts and racing thoughts and that sort of thing and how it can be distressing or disorienting and that's kind of what she looks like too, a little bit disoriented. Um, I love these like artistic representations of going along a road into some altered state of reality or some kind of, you know, skewed version of reality. Because again, that's what it feels like where there's just something different about the reality you're experiencing from the reality you know that other people are experiencing. And that kind of is at the root or the heart of my experience anyway with psychosis. I also really like these ones with kind of the eyes all around or the all seeing eye. I think that that does a really nice job of encapsulating the feeling of paranoia or the feeling of feeling like you're being watched or surveyed or that sort of thing, which I think is really common with people who are experiencing schizophrenia spectrum illnesses. And I think that this does kind of just a beautiful job of depicting what the experience of a psychotic episode and a schizophrenia episode feels like for me. Okay, so now I'm going to get into some other prompts that were created by others who are living with a schizophrenia spectrum illness. But before I do that, I just wanna take a minute to remind you about our online peer support communities. We actually have two different online peer support communities now, one which is tailored more for people with a schizophrenia spectrum illness, and the other one that is more broad and just kind of a general mental health community server, which is open to anyone who identifies as living with a mental illness or someone who's supporting them. Both are really, really great options for being able to connect with peers who are facing similar challenges or life experiences as you in terms of navigating a mental illness. And it can be really, really wonderful to connect with others in that way. 
Both servers also have weekly peer support groups, which are live and facilitated, which are, again, another really great way to connect with people who may be facing similar challenges or experiences as you are pertaining to mental illness. If you want to learn more about either of those, check out the links in the description below. Or for the Schizophrenia Spectrum Illness specific community, you can head to schizophreniapeersupport.com. Or for the more general, broad mental health uh, peer support community, you can go to onlinepeersupport.com to find out more and to sign up. Okay, so now getting back to the prompts. So the next person um, created a prompt that said, a person like a skein of yarn unraveling into mania, depression, and paranoid delusions. And this is what Mid Journey came up with. I like the like artistic depiction of the person kind of hiding in multicolored spools of yarn and whatnot. I particularly like this second one where you can't see her face and she's kind of become this tangled, colorful bit of yarn. This might be kind of my own interpretation of this, but sometimes it can feel like you are just engulfed with, you know, symptoms or an altered perception of reality and whatnot. And so I'm kind of taking that away from covering the face with the yarn. The next prompt that someone came up with was feeling otherworldly in the worst way, feeling like a stranger on a new planet and they're all excommunicating me from society. And so this is what it came up with. And I don't know, I think that this is, a pretty cool thing to come up with. I don't know if this is really for me what it feels like, but perhaps this is true to the person's experience. I liked how they described feeling like a stranger or feeling other otherworldly, which is sometimes something that, you know, someone who's experiencing an altered state of reality or, you know, symptoms that other people may not be experiencing, I could see how you could feel that way. And so it's kind of cool that it depicts this person on some otherworldly landscape. The next prompt that someone came up with was feels like brain surveillance and mind control. And I kind of love both of these images. They're so cool. And so I, I'm, I'm a little blown away by AI coming up with this from this prompt. I think that these do really interesting jobs of depicting what it feels like to feel like your brain is kind of hijacked or taken over by some external force and you're being programmed and the mind control component, which I think is kind of a regularly occurring symptom or, you know, preoccupation for people who are living with a schizophrenia spectrum illness. And so I think that these are super, super cool abstract depictions of what that feeling can feel like. The next prompt that someone else came up with is one day feels normal and the next day everything is cold, scary, and stressful. This probably isn't my favorite one of the uh, mid-journey depictions of what was described, but I do like the description that this person came up with in terms of feeling like there are highs and lows with the illness and also the feeling like the bad days can feel cold, scary, and stressful. And that's what it feels like as opposed to identifying specifically symptoms. And so I liked the way they described that. The next prompt is, paranoia feels like an all-seeing eye inside of me that's not mine, an enemy within. And so I really like this image. It's again, using that all-seeing eye kind of metaphor that I was talking about in one of the earlier images or several of the earlier images. And I think that that, again, is something that comes up a lot for people who are living with this illness is that feeling that you're being watched or that you're being surveyed or whatnot. And yeah, I like it that they described it as still in them, but not from them. And that can be kind of the way hallucinations or some of the symptoms can feel like sometimes. The next prompt from someone else is, psychosis is me being in my own world of wonder, fighting evil, getting poisoned, and then again, finding an antidote. So I thought that was kind of a cool way to describe the journey, I guess, of navigating a psychotic episode. Um, these images are really, really neat in terms of just depicting, I think maybe perhaps some of the more positive aspects, I guess, of being able to understand the world a little bit differently or experience the world a little bit differently. And so I like that they kind of took you along on that experience of having their own inner world of wonder and fighting evil. Um, then they also mentioned getting poisoned, but then again, finding an antidote and kind of overcoming it again. And so I think that these are kind of cool representations of kind of the beauty, I guess, that can be involved in types of neurodiversity. So the next prompt is schizophrenia feels like losing agency over life. Like the inmates run the prison and you are cut out of your own consciousness, never being able to escape the shadow of your own mind that has come to be a haunted place. I really like the imagery they 
you know, produced in that description of what schizophrenia feels like. And I think that these, these images do, I think they actually don't do the description justice enough. I think there was a lot of really wonderful imagery in the prompt and these are good in terms of describing a feeling, but I think that it could have maybe done a better job based off this description. The next prompt is sitting in a diner surrounded by my family. They're all talking, eating and laughing while I'm struggling to feel anything and be a part of the conversation. So I think that this description of what it feels like does a really good job of kind of encapsulating the feeling of the negative symptoms involved with schizophrenia or schizophrenia spectrum illnesses. And I like the subtlety of the image that Midjourney created for this prompt where, you know, it's just kind of at first glance, you wouldn't notice anything really wrong or different. But then when you take a little bit of a closer look at this one person who's sitting in the foreground or at the side of the table, he's not really capable of interacting with his friends or whoever he's at the table with. And there seems to be this kind of divide in terms of his experience of the environment that he's in. And I think that that is something that probably is under talked about, you know, not talked about enough when describing the experience of living with a schizophrenia spectrum illness is that there is sometimes this feeling of detachment and like you're unable to engage in your life in the way you'd like to. And so I'm glad that someone included this as a prompt because I think that that is definitely a part of the experience that maybe doesn't get talked about enough. The next prompt is the barrier between sound and thought is broken. Everything seems to influence or intrude your mind. So I really like these images just in terms of, you know, describing the feeling again of, I, I interpret this anyway as not having a good grip on reality and, you know, the barrier between external stimuli and your own thoughts is broken and everything is just kind of woven together and kind of confusing and you know, the description of everything seems to influence or intrude your mind feels like one where you're just kind of overwhelmed with stimulus or perception stuff and symptoms like hallucinations or delusions and that sort of thing. And I think that these images do a really, really neat job of kind of showing that. So the next prompt is void, empty, heavy, eyes everywhere, loud. So, you know, that's a pretty concise description of what it feels like, but I think that it created really, really interesting images, again, with this theme of eyes watching you and whatnot. And I think that that's actually really powerful in terms of emulating the feeling of paranoia and being watched or being followed or being surveyed or being controlled by some external force or stimulus. And so I really, really like these images in terms of conveying a feeling of what that feels like. And then the final prompt that I want to share with you all is what it feels like to be confused and disassociate while everything looks like it's in high contrast and you are afraid of mirrors. And so I think that that is kind of putting a feeling a little bit into a literal, you know, framework for this mid journey to create something with, but I really like the images that it created. I think it really encapsulates a feeling of um, kind of confusion and disassociation, which is what they described and, you know, kind of a feeling of turning inward, I think, with all these mirrors and reflections around you and not really being able to disseminate kind of what's you, what's external to you, what is reality, what is real or perceived stimulus going on. And I really like the way you know, this feeling is communicated by these images. I think it's really neat. So I really enjoyed going through those images and those prompts and seeing what Midjourney and AI was able to create based off really, really abstract concepts. And I just want to take a minute to say thank you so much to each individual who submitted their prompts for us to use in this video and to create images off of. But also just wow in terms of AI being a tool to potentially create further compassion for people who are living with a mental illness. You know, I said at the beginning of this video that I just don't have the artistic capability to depict for other people visually what my experience of schizophrenia or schizoaffective disorder feels like. But through AI, it kind of did a really incredible job of um, visually depicting and kind of sharing what the feeling that I was describing and that other people were describing of living with schizophrenia or experiencing a psychotic episode feels like. And I think the more we can kind of share 
that feeling and that experience with other people who may not otherwise understand, I think, you know, the more compassion overall we're going to have for people who are living with different mental illnesses like this, or just brain differences or differences in the way they perceive the world. So thank you so much for watching this video. Just a reminder, if you are interested in checking out our online peer support communities, the links to those are in the description below, and they will also be in a pinned comment. So make sure to check that out. Thanks again, and as always, wishing you and your loved ones good health. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.